Hello everybody, my name is Paula and I'm going to be telling you today about how my husband Mike and I managed to fix an extremely in inexpensive cello for not very much money. So the thing about an, an inexpensive cello is that it will be made from inferior woods and since there's a lot of tension on these strings the wood may not be able to handle the tension that is on the strings. That's one of the problems that this cello has. Um, it's not strong enough to actually hold European strings, which are quite high tension strings. So I have to keep it strung with cheaper strings that I can get from eBay or something like this. You know, they're very light strings and they don't have as good a tone as the European strings, but they're pretty good for a beginner, uh, a student, even an intermediate student might be happy with a, uh, with a, not a guitar, a cello like this one. Some of the jobs that we have done on this cello are replacing the saddle, replacing, not really replacing, but resetting, yeah, resetting the sound post and um, adjusting where the bridge actually is set up. But I'll be able to explain more as we go along, so let's get into it. Here in this clip you will be able to see what we mean when we say saddle. The saddle is that small piece of wood that sticks up higher than the body of the cello and it holds the cords that come from the tailpiece around the end pin and back up to the tailpiece. And it supports the cords as they come over the edge of the saddle. But because this is a cheap cello, the saddle was, was not made of ebony. It's supposed to be ebony, which is a very strong wood. This wood is not strong enough at all. That's why the cord is dug into the saddle. And that's definitely not a good thing, of course. Mm -hmm. The cords were able to dig into it. That's probably because we tried putting on European strings though. So the European strings were just too much tension and that caused the cord to dig into the softer wood. I'm pretty sure that with an ebony saddle, it could probably support European strings. Here's another clip showing the extent of the damage. It was quite bad. Yeah, that was very, very bad damage caused by too high of a tension. So European strings are more solid strings. They, they require more tension to bring them up to pitch. Whereas the cheaper strings are lighter and they don't need as much tension to bring them up to pitch. Now here we see how my husband Mike took his very expensive chisels and he himself is quite a good precision woodworker. So this is not a job for just about any old person, okay? If you know what you're doing, if you're a good woodworker, yes, by all means, do so. But um, if you don't know what you're doing, shouldn't really try this job. He chiseled out the, um, the old saddle. And then we colored in to make it look a little bit more professional, you know, not leaving the white wood like that. And here you can see the finished job with the ebony saddle that we bought. We bought it from C&J Stevens in Wales. I will leave their link in the description. 
there's a space on each side of the saddle so that the saddle can expand with heat as the temperature of the room goes up and down it can expand or contract as it wants to free to do its thing and that's the way it's supposed to be it's not supposed to be in there tight that's not good mm -hmm. Here you can see the uh, things that we did to the bridge. We brought the bridge forward in order to make the, um, the dimensions on the string proper. The sound post was moved. There's a little dot that shows where the sound post is supposed to be. And the sound post was moved as well. We had to shave the sound post a little bit. And the string is supposed to be 695 centimeters on one, uh, millimeters on one side and 120 millimeters on the downside. So that's why we brought the um, bridge forward. One thing we did not fix was the end pin hole because the end pin is actually too large for the hole that is there. Um, but you need a special tool to make that hole bigger. Or we could have bought a new end pin that's smaller and might fit that hole. But we just didn't want to spend the money on, a, on that. So we left it as is. No use trying to enlarge a hole with the, uh, not the right tools. Okay, so we had quite a bit of fun working on the cello and we thank you for watching this video. Please keep tuned because we have uh, cello lessons and cello demonstrations. Um, even some backing tracks maybe will be put up on this channel for your pleasure, for your use. And we hope that you have lots of fun learning to play the cello. Bye for now!